Now, we've talked about all the incredible things you've done in the past. We've talked about the Jazz Festival and the Folk and Acoustic Music Festival coming up this weekend. Yes. But what can we expect from you in 2015? Are you going to be coming out with an album? I, yeah, I mean, I hope, I hope to record another album this year. Um, I've been writing. I've been writing a lot. I might put out a single actually, which I've never really thought about doing before. A I lot might of musicians are doing yeah. that, focusing more on the singles. Rather yeah, than I might album. just put out a single or two, yeah. or just put add two to iTunes or something, uh, just to see if it gets any traction. Um, I'm also the producer of the Cape Town Folk and Acoustic Music mm -hmm. Festival, so I thought I need to just tell you about some of the people on it. Mm, you must. We haven't really spoken about that. Um, I think this year is an incredible lineup. We've got Tina, who's playing with me, who I spoke about. We've got a, a young girl called Jennifer Eves, who's mm -hmm. phenomenal. She's got the most beautiful voice. She's just an incredible songwriter. And there's a band called Hatchet Man, who I like this Crosby Stills throwback sort of band. They've got this three-part harmony thing going on, and they're really, they're really cool, really immersed in, in, the, in the folk sound. Then there's Nick Turner performing with a girl called Paige Mack, and they're doing an incredible thing together. I've had them on a couple of years back at the Baxter. Um, then there's Jesse Clegg, and he does mm -hmm. what he does. He's a great singer-songwriter. Um, I'm trying to think of everybody. There's Hasanadas, who are more Marabenta, sort of Mozambican groove band. Mm -hmm. The thing with that, that festival, it's folk and acoustic music, and you play acoustically. Right. There's no electric instruments. So we have different genres in that within that as well. Um, we have the, uh, this youngster, Alice Phoebe Lowe, who's blown up at the moment. She, she's great. Yeah, she's great. She's, she's a busker mm. all over Germany, and she's got this nice uh, clip that she did for TEDx, which really went viral on the internet. She's a great singer. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah, then there's Art Matthews, who is one of my favorite voices. Spoke about people that you like I, I, earlier. I love Art Matthews. Really? Yeah, I, th I, I just dig him. I think he's got the most incredible voice. I think his take on music, his heart, his, his, he's got such a big heart mm -hmm. that, that anything that comes out of that mouth is really channeled through the greatest place. He's just like, he really is an incredible artist wow. and he really is a proper heart artist, you know. Um, and is he going to be at the festival on his own or with... No, no, he's, these are all solo acts. Okay. Then I've got Ross from Prime Circle. Mm -hmm. Another incredible musician. In, incredible. I mean, in fact, Ross and Artem, I've, I've got three top singers that I really dig in this mm -hmm. country. And Ross and Art are two of them. The other one is actually um, Sean from Siva. Okay, three good choices. Yeah, three <laughs> great voices, and I dig them all. And, I, and the fact that I've got Ross and Art playing on this one for me is just mm -hmm. an incredible... Uh, it's going to be incredible for the people to witness. And they also do a closing thing, which we did a couple of years ago at the Lyric Theatre. I was playing with Prime Circle. I played mm -hmm. percussion as well. And I was doing a, a, a Prime Circle and Friends up in Johannesburg. And, Rot and Art and Ross did this tune, this, this mash of, of two songs together, which they will close the show with. And then there's a guy called Andre de Villiers, who I grew up listening to. He wrote that beautiful song, um, How It Feels to Be Alive. Mm. And he wrote a couple of adverts. He wrote beautiful tunes that end up being great advert uh, songs. And he is, he's like a stalwart in the folk scene. He's a great, great singer songwriter. So I think this, I, I don't know if I missed anybody. I can't remember. I'm trying to get imagery of the poster. But <laughs> I think I know most of them. If I missed anybody, just check the poster out. But and we'll put a link to the site in the article um, under this video. Now, if you had to pick one, I know you love Ard and Ross. Um, but if you had to pick one act that people going to the festival could absolutely not mess, miss, who Art and Ross. Art and Ross. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I think there's something for everybody. Some mm. people I've, I've seen what's been going on on the, on, on, the, on the social media in that in the last couple of weeks. Pe people are, are, are as excited about seeing Phoebe, Alice Phoebe Lowe, or Andre de Villiers. You know, there's it's something a huge for. There's, it's a huge lineup, and there's something for every for every age group and. But it's all under the banner of acoustic and folk music. So if you dig Andre de Villiers, there's a very, very good chance you're going to absolutely love Alice Phoebe Lowe mm -hmm. and vice versa. You know? So it's, once you come to that show and you're into that kind of music, there's no one artist on there you're going to go, oh, God, I can't wait for them to get off. It's not going to be like that. You're just going to 
think, geez, can't they just do one more tune? Because it's all quick changeovers and so it runs. Uh, it's only 10 minutes per artist. Is it only 10 minutes? That's how this format works. And this is how we've run it for seven times now. I didn't know that. Ten, ten, 10 minutes per artist. 10 minutes per artist, irrespective of how big you are, who you are. 10 minutes per artist. The audience is going to be begging for more. But that's the great thing about <laughs> it. I mean, I run it at the Baxter and we run it for two hours. Mm -hmm. People say that I the hour goes like that because every 10 minutes there's somebody else on yeah. stage. So for the audience, it's like this, okay, well, that was it. And mm -hmm. What's next? And then it just, and it's great. It, the format really works well. Well, that's the way to do it. I mean, yeah. don't mess with something that works, yeah. right? It's a, yeah, it's our seventh installment. Yeah. Wow. Now, for anyone watching the video who wants more information about the festival this weekend, how can they find it? You can go to the Facebook page, whatever it is, www.facebook. Google it. Yeah. <laughs> Cape Town Folk and Acoustic Music Festival. Um, there's not much on the website, which is the Real Wired Music website, but because there's more activity on the Facebook, mm -hmm. on the pages and the events and... That's the, you find the most information on the, on the Facebook pages. Gavin, thank you so much for joining it's us. A pleasure. I look forward to hearing the songs you're going to play for All us. All right. Thank you for having me.